All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new stream, a brand new video. Today, we are going to play through the relil. <laughs> Deathwish activate with the nine months. Nine months. My man, how's it going, buddy? With the Twitch Prime, nine months. Thank you very much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Um, right, so tonight, we are going to play it through. <laughs> I can't even remember what Google said now. Jeez. Reliquai. I, I, all right, we're going to play through a collection of maps from my <laughs> Mike Stro. Uh, there are 30, uh, 12... God, I'm getting all confused. There are 13 maps in this collection. Um, and, um, yeah, varying lengths. Some, uh, so apparently, some have one room, some have two rooms. Um, also, is it just me, or is that door been mirrored what's going on that that thumbnail is completely weird actually looking at it wow what's going on with that thumbnail huh anyway sit back relax we've got um quite a few maps to play here um map number zero hello and welcome to everybody who to everyone to what has probably been my biggest port 2 project so far 12 past series of simplistic easy to medium difficulty test chambers mostly um aimed at those new to the workshop but also fun for experienced players as series progresses the difficulty will increase this particular level is designed with the intent of teaching a concept which has not been utilized in the main game however many good community map makes use of this concept am i right in thinking world portals in and understanding it is crucial to critical sorry to solving these levels the map forces you to use this move in three different ways for three different purposes grab your portal gun and give it a try backstory uh, about two years ago, I was asked to contribute to making a Portal 2 mop mod. Uh, learn to speak, knock. I was able to compose music and to device small, elegant, and simple puzzles. At first, progress was steady and exciting, but after a while, it stagnated. Not too long ago, we decided to abandon the project. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to let my contributions go to waste. So here is the result. Of course, I won't copy strike you for any music. Uh, you're recording your run. In other news, my puzzle, Soccer Band the RPG, has been released on Steam. Please consider checking it out. Yes, I can. Uh, please consider checking it out. Very cool indeed. Deathwish, thank you very much, buddy. I am bowing, bowing, bowing to the king. Hope you're well, buddy. Hope you are well indeed. Uh, all right, so let's begin, shall we? Hello. Real, real talk for a moment. The um. The way Worms has been going, you should be bound to this king. Just, just make an observation. <laughs> Okey pokey, piddly pokey. So, first of all, we're gonna do something like this. America sucks now because of you know who. Don't you be dissing Donald. So there, we do this. Okay, so quite interesting the, uh, the cube respawn mechanics going on here. Yo, Mika! Welcome back, buddy. Hope you're well. Hope your sauna was good earlier on. Got a good sauna. So I guess now it's going to be a combination of the two moves here on this one. Well, there is no... Um, interestingly here, there is no... Um, there's no respawning across over a button, so we just need to be wary of that. That <laughs> summer is always good. Spawn and do that. All right, so quite a nice little introduction here, as so rightly said in the description. I've, never, I've not been to a sauna for years, to be fair. I've never really, um, never really been um, part like a gym member or anything, or been anywhere that's got a sauna. So um, yeah. Anyway, on to map number two. 
and I'll uh, try not to read uh, the description, the same bits of the descriptions are within. Um, thanks to our main support of the series so far. First surpassed surpassed surpass, surpass 1,000 players is insane. Hope you'll enjoy playing the rest of the series as much. Um, second song, um, the second map in the series contains two short puzzles. Again, it's mostly aimed at the Nose Workshop, but hopefully still fun for experienced players. As I said before, the series progresses, difficulty will increase. First room teaching another concept that may be useful to keep in mind for later releases. Executing the solution should be easy to keep in mind. Keep that in mind. The second room is a short puzzle involving only a light bridge and a single cube. If you still try to remember to play this one. Which is... Zero. Okay. Um... If you're curious to see how to design the second puzzle from scratch, click here. Is that a uh, video? That's a YouTube video. Okay. Interesting. Uh, if you like the second room, similar ideas are used in this map. 1.5. Interesting. Uh, diff 2 out of 10. And then we've got our soccer band blur at the bottom. Yeah, nice simple puzzles. Um... Indeed. They're not just gimmies, that's for sure. Which is always good. And uh, I guess we're going to do the same again from a higher height, right? Okay. Not fail. So... Ah, hold on. Maybe I should have gone through the ceiling. Yes. Okay. This one's from Soccer Band? I don't remember this one from Soccer Band, Mike. Not that I'm questioning your music at all. Sauna, which is warmed up with wood, is the best sauna ever. Yeah, I've never been to... Oh my god, what's going on here? I've never been to like a proper like wood fire or like a wood wood sauna. It's always um, I've only ever been to a sauna in this country, so uh, in the UK, so it's always uh, artificial. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have kept the momentum, gone back through. Yeah. Okay. Learning process. Learning process. I know for I, I kind of know though that uh, saunas are a big thing for uh, quite a big thing for Scandinavian countries, right? Oh crap! No! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. There uh, must be a simpler way to do this. Or a non-ID ten T way, at least. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was just about to turn my ball there. Also, this is all like, this is all custom music then, like. I often listen to your, um, your Pink Tree releases on the YouTube. And I've often considered, um... Oh my god. Oh, I can't turn a ball on that push. I just need to pull there and straight there. I often consider, like, just taking all your tracks, maybe, at one point, and just, um... Seeing if I can, like, do, like, a... A mix. In some way, shape, or form. Of some of your tracks. I think that'd be quite cool. I'm sure you wouldn't mind me, uh, Taking your tracks and using them like that. You missed this knock, Death Wish. <laughs> oh, back to the old days. Yeah, I know. I'm just quite bad at strafing and stuff. 
Some things uh, go after the sauna to the hole. Some things go after the sauna to the hole. Yeah, I've seen that actually. I've seen that on like um, documentaries and things before. See me. I'm not doing this, man. <laughs> Death by flinging. I think you guys are going to be the ones that are doing the. the uh, are going to be killed by the flinging at this rate. You're going to die of uh, old age watching me and waiting for me to freaking do the fling. Jeez. Huzzah! Oh, I'm going to grab a second. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> Jeez. Death Wish probably like, is it too late to take my money back? Is it too late to get a refund for the last nine months? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so, um... Yo, Megis, what's going on? You see, I considered... I also considered, um, turning down... Oh, I should have done this with you. Yeah, I see what I've done wrong. Um, I, I considered t turning down, um, the... Um, options, the quality options. However, the problem being, YouTube now con considers. Um, excuse me. Is there a fizzle there? Yeah. YouTube now has decided that anything under 1080p is no longer considered HD video. So, um, yeah, that blows. So, hold on. Would I go across there? I can't go across there and respawn the cube, though, can I? I could do this, though, right? And then if I walk through here... At least I kind of redeemed myself for the second half of that map. <laughs> kind of. I almost feel like there's like almost like there's almost a bit of a red herring there with the like the ending maneuver because of where the door is. Um, it might put a lot of um, new newer players um, off kind of like trying to do that because it almost looks like the portal's not meant to go there because of where the door is, but. Um, just a little thing in hindsight. Anyway, move on to number two. So, Megas, is it is it an airboat series? All right, let's move on to map number two. Um, something happened that I would have never envisaged back when I first started making puzzles. Just the other day, I surpassed 100 followers. Congrats. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who follows me and anyone who enjoys the maps. It really does mean a lot, and I appreciate every each and every comment I get. So, thanks, y'all. Thanks very much. Uh, anyway, hello and welcome back to everyone. First installment. Uh, again, this map contains two short puzzles, but still nothing too difficult, but the difficulty is slowly starting to increase. First room has no cubes, but involves one somewhat creative concept. There should be not be any execution difficulty. The second room teaches another concept that may be useful to keep in mind for later release. The concept is a little abstract, so for those curious to see what they will or have learnt, blah, blah, blah. Admittedly, this puzzle has just one connection to many to make it elegant enough for the mod. However, I, I think it does the job at teaching the concept. Uh, difficulty 2 out of 10. Um, laser collision is off, so I'm guessing we're going to be using a laser. Okay. Interesting, that still sounds like it's moving. Yeah, sure, go right go right ahead. No problem. No 
problem. All right, so then we're going to move that back, I guess. I'm going to do that. Go through here onto the surface. And then we should be able to fire that to there. And through the first room. So, um, gives us a way across to here, and we can do what then? It's going to, need to open that. It's going to open that. Getting in there does any has any benefit for us at the moment? Exit criteria is nothing. It's an open door. Be a capture right there, so we're gonna need the laser to come through here, pointing it to there. So we need to get the cube out first. And I apologize if I am waffling considerably to myself. Just trying to sort of plan out how I'm gonna attack this chamber. So then what we're gonna do is switch it to there. And that will allow us then to reshoot the laser onto where it went. <laughs> Can I praise that airbow, man? Seriously. Right, so when we, yeah, we reset the portal. It's fine. Then we can do that. Which is all well and good, but we should have got the cube out. So what I should have done here is really position the cube over here instead. Then we can still hit that catcher from over there. So um, and that switch it to there. Take the cube. Now, we need to get ourselves back, don't we? Alright, so we can go here. I'm just going to say, because... We can fire the portal there. Hey, money. The probably reason you wasn't pinged is because I was live about um, an hour to two hours ago, also. And Twitch will only ping you uh, once every four hours, even if you go offline and back online again. So uh, that's probably why you haven't been uh, pinged. And I don't think you ever get pinged, Deathwish. Alright, so the question here is, how do I take this cube across there? So, we'll save there, just for now. And... I probably want the cube here, right? Yeah. Let's get the cube. Take it over here, and then we can use the positionings over here. that. Um, I did some research after the last stream, actually, Megis, for you. Um, I was looking at, like, emotes and stuff. Now, it turns out I need to have a total of... Um, I'm only allowed one emote on Twitch. And... Apparently, to unlock a second emote, you have to have, like, 15 concurrent su subscribers or something. So, um, I don't think we're going to be getting an, emo uh, an airboat emote anytime soon. But there is a there is a potential way around it. If I can use um, better Twitch TV, you can add on custom emotes on there. So, um, yeah, you need 15 subs to get, like, an extra emote or something, or emote slot or something, which is... Um, 
crap, really, but. That's not by that's that's not your thing. What is this tomfoolery? That's not your uh, thingy, um, Mike. All right, let's look at uh, number three here. Hello and welcome to everyone to the fourth installment. Uh, it's a very special series for, I did not make this map all by myself. Most of the work here was done by Snowy, one of the highly talented mappers that were on the original team for the mod. Please show Snowy some love and support for the amazing job she did on making the small puzzle of mine into a beautiful and unique hammer map. Generally, thank you, my friend. It turned out really well. The puzzle itself is a cute little laser puzzle with a single cube. If you're stuck, try to remember to play this one or the second room of this one. Two out of ten. Hotel Travago. Never. Do you know what? I've never ever, and I still to this day never ever understand that slogan. I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Excuse me. Um. Yeah. I see that advert on telly all the time. I was just like, why? I I, I don't understand. Don't understand. <laughs> Uh, yes, it is money. Uh, I, to be fair, I only just found out that there was a 1.5 and I had added everything to the um, the collection previously. So, right, so laser. Okay, so that's going to stop that from doing that. We can still do that. So, we do that, then we have to go back to get the cube. Uh, we played Half-Life 2 about, probably about a year and a half, two years ago on stream, I think. Um, I haven't got any plans at the moment to replay it, so... I've got enough sort of portal stuff to keep me going for considerable amount of time. You're rowing, what's going on? Jeez, it has been a freaking age, my man. How's it going? Hope you are all well. Hope you're keeping safe in these uh, very strange times. Going okay, fine, good to hear. Good to hear from you, man. Rowan's like my lifelong Call of Duty zombies, buddy. But we've not played for like ages. Is that like a cloud skybox? Wow, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's been a long time though, man. Jeez. Alright, so how I get this cube over to there? Let's think. I often stick Black Ops 1 in uh, every now and again and play a bit of Kino on uh, the PS on the PS3. But uh, that's about it. Cube toss? No, Death Wish. No. <laughs> I need tossing that cube. Oh, okay. I know. I know what to do. I'm being dumb. Shock horror. All right. So we do that. I think I do this. Anyway, as long as I can get. Yeah, I can see that from there. And then. Respawn the cube. Take it through here. Hopefully that was intended. <laughs> Hopefully that was intended though. I, I think it was. I think you mean that water magnet right there. Yeah, geez, wow. <laughs> that's uh, that's quite a strong water magnet right there, definitely. All right, let's move on to the fifth map. Oh, it's not intended. 
I apologize. Uh, all right, uh, welcome back to another installment. Again, this is Tay's two short polls. Things are starting to get a little interesting. Uh, first room requires no cubes, but it involves a very creative concept. It's heavily inspired by this great map by Fumbly. Which one's that then? Slow dive. Okay, I think I'm slow dive, yep. Taking the... Is that for real? They're going to develop Half-Life 4? Uh, they'll just pass Half-Life Alex off as, um, as Half-Life 3, I bet. Yeah, I know. It's like, geez, like, Evan's like 10 this year and Ariella's 6. It's crazy, man. Crazy. You remember, like, when they were, like, little kids as well. That's, like, how far we go back, man. Um... I had plans for this mod to greatly expand on the idea, but I never really got to that plan. Still, it tutorializes a move that will be used again later in the map series. Second room might be a little easier than the first. I personally quite like it and hope you do too. Should you get stuck in the first room, I'd recommend you playing the Fumbly Bumbly's original map. All right. I'm sure we don't need to do that again. Ooh, it's uh, orange. Another orange. All I want to sing for some reason is um, slow ride, even though it's slow dive. Slow ride. Take it easy. I'm going to show my age. Possibly. Also, is that an Easter egg? That looks interesting. Yeah, man, Morgan wasn't very old, man, when we, uh, when, uh, you know, we started talking a lot. So, the idea of Thumbly's map was that you could cancel the funnel, wasn't it? Hmm. So, how do we turn off or cancel the funnel on this map, if that's the point? That is the purpose, at least. Maybe we don't need to. I don't think we need to. One thing I've just realised, though, is have I seen the exit? The exit must be over here, right? Yeah, I don't think. I don't think um, Portal would work well with VR. Oh, there's the exit. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> now, I could totally, like... Not that I want to, but I could totally cheese that. I could totally cheat. Or maybe I couldn't totally cheat. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Portal would be a good game in VR, to be fair. I think it would be... I think too many people would suffer from motion sickness in that game. Jeez. Portal 1's really bad for... I find for motion sickness and stuff. I know there's the, um, there is the portal, uh, six cents thing, isn't there? Is that anything to do? Man. Flinging in, yeah, that, that would not be good. Okay. i got to remember the concept here that, uh... Thinking about the right thing, Deathwish. Oh no, you're just saying no. <laughs> yeah, no to. Oh, hold on. I'm a complete not a douche. 
Yep, I know exactly what I need to do here. Surely it's more than six years, though, since Black Ops 2 was out, right? Surely. Alright, that wasn't far enough. So, quick rewind. Rewind. Alright, so that's how we get across there. Hey, Permitev, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Surely it's like nine years ago since Black Ops 2, isn't it? Um, no, maybe you're right, because Black Ops 1 was... I remember Black Ops 1 was out. I was playing Black Ops 1 when the year Evan was born. So I remember, I remember my wife. My wife used to go out at night time. Maybe I think when she was back at work. And I, when when your kids are that old, you can just it's great because you can just literally plonk them down and they won't go anywhere. So I used to just like plonk him down and just play <laughs> Call of Duty for a little bit. <laughs> great parenting. All right. So yeah, is there a way that I can? Is there a way in there? Or is that just decoration? Ha. Huh. There is a way in there. Okay, so next question: How do we get in there? How do we get in there? The only way I can think is like to go really high in the funnel. I don't, I don't know. I think I can do it. I can do it. Not like that. I'm not going to do it though. Ah. Actually, will shell will shell actually fit in there? I don't think she will. Will she? Yo, determinator, what's going on, buddy? I don't think shell will fit in here. Will she? Yes, she will. Okay. She will. She may be fat, but she's not that fat. Oh, I, 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 I imagine I am doing it very wrong. Terminated. I don't know how else I would get in there, though. That's portal magnetic, so I can't put another portal on the side of here. So, genuinely, though, guys, is there a way in there? Or am I just like. Trying stuff. Do I need to hold? <laughs> Whip a nay nay. No! Get that out of here. There is a way in there? Okay. Well, I don't know how, I'll be honest. Oh, I thought to get in. Good call. Good call. Gun. Why would I do that? That's just that's just preposterous. There's no way I could see a freaking portal surface there. 
There's never two portal surfs on two. Lies. Lies. I genuinely don't see a way into there. Crouch and shoot. Oh, no, no, I don't know. You just don't play on me. There's nothing on the ceiling, is there? I can't shoot the ceiling. This channel, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome along to the portal funness. Oh, it's... wow. Really, Mike? Really? Jeez. Oh, you really didn't want anyone to find that one, did you? Let's be honest. Just dare boat across. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Herbertem, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome along. Well, we got the cubes. Um, we solved the puzzle. I, I, I didn't take them anywhere. Because uh, we can't take them through that fizzler. So, uh, anyway, onwards we go. Having spent a lot of time trying to work out how to get that cube, those cubes, we uh, get to leave them behind. Time well spent. Okay, so we can get into the funnel from there, if we need to. Interesting, uh, interesting design. Indeed. And let's get ourselves the cube. Take it over here. <laughs> Thank you for following. You must swear your allegiance to the Airboat Fan Club, or else you will be <laughs> perma banned. <laughs> All right, so it's a thing we did. We'll go back there now, surely. Okay, yeah, we can go back, and then we can. Uh, Someone could have got the cube out there if I left the cube on the portable surface. Get to there, funnel it up. Yeah, because the cube, because I need to use the cube to open that, so also we may have just made a mistake. I can't really use this, so I've got to go back. I've got to pretty much reset the puzzle, so okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So 
Maybe I was too hasty. Maybe I was too hasty. So I do this. And I could get the cube. cube by walking through a portal surface down there. That'll bring the cube down to here. That wouldn't really help me though, would it? Let's be honest. There's no way to really... Pick up the cube. Heck, I could even put a funnel on the cube right there. <laughs> if only, if only this was front page. I think it, it must have something to do with it's got to have something to do with this the big question I have though is how can I return to here up here after getting the cube that's that's sort of like the big question at the moment If I go down, I lose my way back up to here, don't I? No, let's just let's just play devil's advocate. See, following that up there is not going to do diddly squat. Diddly, not doodly, diddly. Get your facts right, pal. But now I don't have a way to get back, and that's that's the problem. Yeah. I know what you said. I said diddly. <laughs> Um, see, I can, I can, from here, I can follow myself back up, but that is no different than where I was before. So I don't really think that's going to help me in any way, shape, or form. So the other thing I could do is I could put a portal surface there. Plonk. No, not facade. Jeez. I like my life. Shock. If you guys haven't learned by now, overcomplicating is kind of like my sort of thing. 
Gotta love a bit of knockover complication. Um, Knock never overcomplicates anything apart from everything. down there and put that there. How is that any different to what I had before? I think it is. Now what I'm, I'm also thinking is can I use... Oh, I think I worked it out. I think I worked it out. Okay. I think I got it. No, I think he got it. You've got there. And then we'll do this. There we go. by the right portal. Nice little puzzle. Good job, Mike. Good job. Can be stumped for a good few minutes. All right, let's move on to map number six. Don't argue with me about it being map number five. Zero based index. Inspired by the whole shebang by Libby. You still haven't got that sorted, uh, Mika? That sucks. Alright, number five. Welcome back to another installment. Again, this map contains two short puzzles that helps if you've played the previous parts, but it's not necessarily a map does not contain anything particularly clever in and of itself. She kind of expects the cons expands on the concept introduced in earlier installments. Should you get stuck in the first room, I would recommend trying Formula Bumby's inspiring maps. Is it the same one as before? Yes, slow dive. For both puzzles, it could both puzzles. Both puzzles, it could be helpful to keep the first room of this one in mind. Uh Overgrown style does not allow for chamber locks. Um, less of a fact, this is really the last dual chamber of the series. After this, I feel they start they stand strong by themselves. Two and a half out of ten. This is the gymnastics episode. Oh boy, strap yourselves in. It's gonna be a doozy. I guess I'm gonna come back for that, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that at this uh, moment in time. Oh, it was too far. Whoopsie! Then from there, let's get the funnel again. And then we're going to go through the ceiling, I think. Which will give us the momentum for the next part. And where have we got to go to here? Exactly. There we go up to there. Okay. 
I mean, I guess that's what I gotta do. I can't really see anything else to do. Oh yeah, there's uh, the... Yeah, okay, I see, I see it now. The ceiling there will guide us uh, in the right direction. Well, at least it will if I get enough momentum. Let's do a quick rewind. Rewind. There we go. Excellent. So our exit requirements. Uh, so drop a cube there. Just keep these come up to here. Guessing the same sort of thing to get to the exit here. Hey, Mikey, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Let's get the cube into here. Alright, so once again, I'm guessing. We're going to want to do that and that, but we need to get the cube in here as well, so... I to guess, can we get it somewhere here where we can pull it through? We can get it oscillating, but we can't because we're going to lose it there, aren't we? I see you were streaming uh, Destiny, Mikey. So for for most people here in the chat, me and Mikey are yellow bellies, which is the term given to folk from Lincolnshire. Oh, let's not go there. <laughs> Good stream then, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the... Uh, when you're from the county of Lincolnshire, you are officially a yellow belly, apparently. So, uh, so how would I stop? Okay, I've got a ledge there. So, actually, that's easier than I thought. No complicating. So, it's exactly how I thought it was a minute ago. Stick these on the steps. Stand on this button. Do this, do this, and do that. Alright. Next up, we are gonna do what? Uh, same as we did in the previous room, I guess. We're gonna go through here, um, all the way to the end of the funnel, near enough. that. Now, we need to, however, how do we get the cube up here? Hey, come here. What's going on? Welcome on to stream. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. So, this is the problem I now have, is... How do I get a cube over here? I can send it through. Oh, hold on. Am I... I could see that from there. So... Hold on. Let's go just redo that move a moment. So what we can do is we can drag it over here. That will respawn that. Now then do we get enough height... Alright, this is... Not entirely 
sure. Okay. You're not close to 100k points, Deathwish. <laughs> Don't lie. I only turned them on today. <laughs> there we go. Was there an easier way to do that? Or was that the... Uh, is that the intended mic? <laughs> Reload some worms. Worms reloaded. Alrighty then. Next one. Yo, Space Kitten. What's going on? Welcome along to stream. Hope you will. Map number seven. Um, from now on, the maps will only contain one puzzle in each. They will, however, gently start to contain more steps and reusage. This one may still be quite simple, though, but it's fairly elegant. The puzzle is based on a very elementary concept. There's just two laser receivers, but there might be more activations than you would expect. If you like the music track that plays here, should you... Feel like there's that sentence isn't finished. Oh, I like. Sorry, I like the music travel space. Sorry, I I, I apologize. Um, should you have any trouble getting started, try to remember to play this one. And uh, difficulty two and a half out of ten. This is reminiscent of, um, hold on, didn't I play this one already? Um, maybe not. This is very reminiscent of, <sighs> didn't I play this one already, Mike? I think it, it might be slightly different, but. This is vaguely familiar. Was it point symmetry? I remember this, but I think there was a big pool. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's not the same map because there was also a um, track platform that ran to like this, the, down this half of the map. So yeah, it's, it's not the same map. No need to panic. Don't panic, don't panic. Ah, this one cube. play Tower of No Scope. Don't think so. I feel like this is something I'm going to want to do, but putting the cube here has no bearing whatsoever. Maybe I just need to take it through there. But without the cube, I can't get back. Whisk can. Whisk can. Let me top myself out of it there. 
actually encouraged by us. Uh, fairly simple laser pills based on that. Maybe I'll actually get it finished someday. Yeah, I've been working on the map for. Um, I've been working on the map for a very long time. And if I'm completely honest, I kind of feel like I've lost all hope of ever finishing it, but we'll see. We will see. So I guess this is going to be like last off thing that we're going to do here, isn't it? Not mapping stream. <laughs> to be fair, it really wasn't a very difficult map at all, but I just kind of wanted to do something to try and get back into a bit of mapping. I need to get back over there, so I need to activate this one. Right? Plutonium. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so let's do that. I think. Just to so it's over there, actually. Like that. It was just by like a real simple kind of fling map that I was going for. Oh, that failed. That's why I saved. Um. I started it probably about six months ago and Conkran kind of helped out a little bit and gave me some ideas. Um, but I just never got around to finishing it. Such is the problem of a lot of things I do these days. I just have far too many hobbies and far too many interests. And There we go, that's it. That still leaves me the problem though, doesn't it? It's not it at all. Because while I can do that, I'm now still stuck here. So I need a portal there and there. So I should have fired the portal here instead. So I need to come off this wall. Alright, well, lesson learned. Lesson learned. How's that going to work though? I don't think that's going to work, is it? Because I can't now... Huh. See, I can't now put a portal where I want to put the portal. Err. Yeah, I just use a cube here. So I'm, I'm talking myself out of things at the minute. Portal the PRG map. Like so. Portal the PRG. The RPG. Uh, as a, as a portal RPG map. Sure, 
surely it can't be that bad, can it? All right, number seven here, or map number eight. Um, so this should be fairly straightforward, though sometimes looks can be deceiving. This puzzle isn't really based on any concept in particular. Two weighted buttons, a funnel, and one cube in a small space. That's it. A more intricate variant of this puzzle can be found here. Uh, three out of ten. Oh, we got a lot of map with invisible triggers. Ho hopefully the icing on the cake for that as well would be uh, a ridiculous amount of unnecessary turrets. Because let's face it, that would just, you know, that would just be awesome. Who doesn't like a load of unnecessary turrets? Let's face it. Alright, so I'll check here. Yeah, no. Alright, so there's push once. Okay, interesting. I, I I actually quite like talking out loud when it comes to playing Portal because it gives um, it gives people watching a bit of an insight as to shouldn't know that. It gives people an insight of what's like my thought process and how I solve them up as well. So I do like to um, discuss what I'm doing and where I'm going and different bits and pieces. I'm not sure I go that crazy, Mike, but uh, <laughs> no, no, I totally, I totally get that. All right, so if oh, I have to say that, let's take this out of here. Yeah, can I see that surface from... I can see that surface, so maybe I've lined up with the wrong place. I could then follow that across to there. Okay, let's try that. Bring that to here. Like so. Uh, resets up again. I think it's just something that kind of comes natural to me, having done, like... YouTube videos playing Portal for so many years. It's just something I've always done. And like I say, I think it really helps when you are recording a video of you playing and trying to solve something. It really helps um, people kind of understand your creative process. So, okay. So, doing that. Why would that? Why would that now be a reversed funnel? I would just assume that I push it over here, right? <laughs> oh, that's probably why. That's why you save. <laughs> that's probably why. Okay. All right, that's not. Right. I think here, possibly, I want to swap over me with the cube. how I do that. I 
because once I swap that with that, that cube will be on there. I'm then free to walk through to put the port there and, and go to the exit. So what do I need to do with this reverse funnel? So, so, so you're full of such wisdom. Like seriously, how did we ever cope without your wisdom? That doesn't help because then I just walk across there. Yeah, that's not going to help. Unre-re-reverse it. If I could get out to here... Okay, that could be potentially it. If I could get... If I can get myself here... So with the portal on one of these two and the portal on there, I can then stand on here, drag the cube through to there, walk through here, place the cube on there, and then exit. It's good on there, XXX Innocent. Good day. So what can I do with this reverse funnel? Well... The answer to that be not a lot. Unless that's just to do that. Push that off, push it through the fizzler to get rid of it. Doesn't auto respawn, but that will put me over there. Right, with the. Let's use that to get that to there. doesn't help one bit, does it? I think not.
So I need to, I already need the cube there to open up both of these fizzlers, right? Yeah, that's not. Just do the thing with the thing and float to the exit. Wow, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a new one. I've never tried floating to the exit before Death Wish. I actually have, a, I actually have a, an infinite amount of points, so yeah, beat you all. <laughs> I beat you all. You probably got awarded extra for the, uh, the follow earlier. Um, I've been trying to think of what to do with like the channel points thing for like for quite quite some weeks. Um, for quite some weeks, well, for some weeks, and um, I didn't really come up with a lot of stuff to do. So if anybody's got any ideas about what they would like to see from the channel points, do let me know. What did you spend yours on then, Deathwish? I'm not seeing anything in, I'm not seeing any redemptions. Hmm. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, I didn't see that one. Yeah, instant map request might be a bit um, difficult. What's the point of the points? It's just a way that it's just a thing that Twitch brought in um, quite a few months ago. I've never, I haven't used it up until now. Um, it's just a way that um, you basically earn points while watching. It's like a loyalty thing, and then you get you can redeem it for different rewards. Uh, you get some for like uh, following, for taking part in raids, and, and different bits and pieces like that. So. It's like a little incentive kind of thing. Alright. Um, yo, Innocent, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome along. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, Innocent, didn't I? I didn't say incentive. Alright, I'm um, having a bit of a brain fart at the moment, so I'm going to go and take a quick two minute bathroom break. And then I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, and we will hopefully get to the end of this map. Fingers crossed. I'll be back momentarily. Look, 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 look. It's turned on. Look. So it's right here. Developer console. Ain't working, guys. Seriously. Oh. 
Where the hell's he going? What? What? <laughs> okay. Man, that face. That face. No! Ooh! Hey, what you gonna do here? This is gonna be interesting. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently your space bar works. <laughs> yeah. Pulse 83 is an airboat. What the hell's an airboat? What? From Half Life. Oh my god. Oh my god. I broke it. I broke the game. I broke the game. Be a Doom Marine. Hey, Mama. This guy said I can be a Doom Marine. I'm gonna go to Mars and I'm gonna go fight me some demons. <laughs> uh, that's uh, and stuff. Is that how it works? Oh my god, we've done it. Oh! Mikey, you've never played Portal 1 and Portal 2. There is the door, my friend. <laughs> In the jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lions did something. Care. Hospice. 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 Okay. Peeing a little bit. Not sit the sit the Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Whose channel are you on right now? Whose Discord are you on right now? Who the fucking hell is talking to you right now? Wow. <laughs> Get that fucking banhammer out right now! Holy fucking shit! <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Right before the proclaimers kicked in. Alright, so. Let's do this. Right, so where was we? So we. Waiting on me to do the final things for the exit. Yeah, good luck with that. We might be here for some time. Because, uh, I'm still none the wiser, I'll be honest. I'm not understanding the use of the reverse funnel. Um.
Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea, DW. That's not going to work, would it? Because I'm going to walk off the... For some reason, I thought this, this fizzler was connected to that button. I should be worried. <laughs> oh, great. I thought for some reason that that was connected to that so I could be able to put a portal over there, walk out and then drag myself back over there, but it's not going to happen. to push it off and that's just going to unreverse the funnel and I can then travel out I was thinking, could I respawn the cube and then somehow... Can I set this up again? Can I get out of here with that? Thing. And if I can get into the middle, keep in the funnel. That could be a thing. for a fizzler. I mean, sure, I can do that and I can go back over here. But that doesn't help me because I need to keep the support on that surface there.
only I could. If only I could, like, temporarily. Let's go back to the drawing board. to there. Go across to here. Can't see that surface. I thought if I reset everything and put the cube across there, I could fire onto there, then fire to there to put that onto there, and then I could walk through into there. <sighs> Alright, listen, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. Thank you very much for the follow as well. I really appreciate it. Have a good evening. Actually, no. It's not all doom and gloom, is it? We can still do it. We can still do things and stuff. So put that to there. Go across to here again. Reset this up here. Then push this over to here. Then... That's there. Go over to here. Then I do something along the lines of this, this. Thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome along. Even though you're giving me such a headache right now. And now we're done. And I could have brought the queue with me to boot as well. There we go. It finally clicked. It finally clicked. There wasn't really a lot else I could have explored in that map, though, to be honest. There wasn't really a lot else to explore. 
and stuff that I hadn't done. All right, map number eight. Map number nine. Um, you may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Memes aside, for some reason, I really like this test. Probably my favorite of the bunch, though some of the upcoming maps are pretty neat too. I had wanted to make a puzzle with these concepts for a while. It makes me happy to see that I it worked out so nicely and compactly. This will be the last light bridge appearing in the series, but it's, unpre it's a bit unprecedented. Oh, sorry. It's a bit underrepresented. Sorry, can't speak. Uh, difficulty three out of ten. Five remakes of all these? Oh dear god, please tell me he hasn't. Or well, they haven't. Alright, so how do I take that cube? Well, maybe if I stood on the button. Oh, okay. I see, okay. I see what I see what I need to do, I think. So we do this, and then we're going to do this to here. Walk across the light bridge. Then we will do this. Walk back across here. Cube delivered on there, so rightly does. Okay, so now we have that and that. Next up, okay, you know what I thought? I'm not a fan of Sector 5's maps, to be fair. They, Sector 5 to me is a bit like the new. Um, a bit like the new W. Was it W? Uh, excuse me. I 
think actually I know what I need to do here. I'm overcomplicating because I can go and do this, this, then swap to that, jump the gap, pick up the cube, um, place the button. Alright, that one was relatively straightforward. Um, in comparison to the last one, though, I don't think I would give it the same rating as the uh, the funnel puzzle we played previously. I think that one was the funnel puzzle was definitely more than a three, in my opinion. But um, yeah, no, good map though, good solid map. Next one, the tenth map of the series. Uh, I designed all the puzzles in in the second half of twenty nineteen. Well, all but for some tutorial rooms in the first entries. And except for this puzzle, of which I had the idea for months, just could not make it work until last month when I allowed myself to include the move that is now tutorialized in the first room. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. It's, it's a funnel puzzle with a minimal connections and a core cube, and sorry, and a single cube. Uh, this will probably be the last step up in difficulty. The last entries will all be as tricky as this latest one. Also submitting this to into the DR concept con the can't talk contest because why not? Dark Rosen's contest, I think. It's probably what DR. Yeah, no worries, Ice. No worries. Thanks for uh, stopping by anyway, and saying hi. It's all good. Yeah, not, I can never speak. I'll be honest. puzzle potentially here. Getting that vibe. that. So we have that. And that's going to see us across to the exit. So I need to take the cube over there, reverse the funnel, so I can get into the funnel room. Then I somehow need to get the cube back over to here. I guess from pushing it onto the button, I guess is what we're going to want to do there. Okay. So the question is, how do we get on to the... Hmm. Some things we got to there, but if we go up to there, how do we get... I've seen the way through to there, so we're probably going to want to use a floor port and some momentum perhaps to get up to there, up to these places that we need to get to. from here actually it's not too big a thing you can chat again welcome back Mike all right so issue here would be Push 
myself out here. Which really helps me at the moment, though. I don't know if you had audio or not, Mike. Uh, I was just saying, though, I don't know that I would consider the same, the, the last two puzzles the same difficulty. Um, if I was completely honest. I don't know if you, uh, you caught me saying that. So, I mean, the only thing we haven't tried here is doing this already. Oh, wait a sec. The reverse funnel, we can go across to there. Huh. Would this work, though? Hold on. No, because we need that there, so... I tell you what would work though. Okay. Then we do this. Then we're gonna do this. Drag the cube through. So now I have that. I now need to do what? Uh, I'm going to need to get in there with the cube, aren't I? I think the cube's going to need to come over here. Save here, just just in case. So it goes to there. I should do that from in here. So go through here. Yeah, that's what I was missing. So then I can recall that, I think. Push myself over to here. Oh, maybe I should have done that before. So then I could have pushed that back to there. No, 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 no we're, we're good, we're good. Uh, apart from the fact we have got that, but we can get an escape there. So then we go up to here. Yeah. We go up to here. Can put the portal back over to here, which allows us to then push the cube onto the right spot there. Still not done something right there because we need the cube to sit onto there.
So the question is... I need to get... I need a portal on that side there. Whilst I'm in there, so I need to put, get the cube on there. And then drag myself over here. Right. The only way he's going to do that, though, is... So I've got to do that, but then it's getting out of here, isn't it? Portal there, portal there. So let's go back and do what I did before. Just a moment. The uh, the sandificator one, death wish, or is uh, you thinking of a different one? We had a, didn't we have like a? I say we. Didn't we have like a bit of a race on that at one point? I think we were just playing it at like the same time. You're aware and what's going on, buddy? I was gonna do that because we had that before. So that gives us that. Now I go back over to here. And over to here. Then Space Kitten, that's 97, thank you very much. For the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome along. I remember. I think I played the original as well afterwards because uh, the original's quite something. So we fling over to here. So, I think I just fired the wrong portal, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Right, let's put this back here. Then do this. So, we did this before.
So then the thing to do here would be to... If that was the right move. Unless there's enough here to. Yeah, there is. Alright. Enough here to get to that. Okay, let me just rewind quickly because what I should have done was instead come through here, down to here. So from here I should have done this, I believe, followed by this. respawn the cube that's going to push that to there I swap that to there and then we get to the exit right oh, for some I've seen again a small area with a few elements but it took so many steps in order to complete it that drove me insane I can't remember whose it was or the name of the map but I'd say not I suppose can solve it and did I just find the wrong pole no I did not it's a matter anyway then we do that, and we do this. There we go. Whee! Blop. Uh, I've played that one... I played that one the other night, last week actually, Mike. Um, it took me about an hour to get through it, but I was like sat there and I tried something and I pretty much taught myself out of doing what I thought I needed to do. And it turns out after like about four and half an hour to 45 minutes of like trying to work it out, what I should have done was what I thought I should have done originally. <sighs> so, all right, so uh, time for number 10. It's got three more left, I think. Um, this is literally seven, yet somehow completely different. Now 100% less funnel reversing. One cube, one reverse funnel, two fizzlers, three weighted buttons, and a flip panel. Oh boy. This one without, oh my goodness. All right, well, something different straight away to notice is that um, something to notice straight away is that the cube respawns constantly. So that's definitely something different to, to take notice of. What I'm thinking here is Yeah, 
Winston Tester initiative was a good map. I like that one. Uh, whoopsie. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. So we have that, we have that. So now... Just to now drag that through there, I could put a portal on there. And I could in effect walk through there. Let's think. I'm kind of thinking I might need to go back a step here. No, no, no. It's okay. It's all good. Okay. That's all over that as well. So that's all gated. Which is good to note. It's not just about removing maps from the queue, though, um, Innocent. It's also to do with um, the amount of maps that you've played in your history. Um, I sometimes struggle from that as well. Because if you flick over to your, your um, history, it will, it will try and load all the maps that you've played. And then Deathwish knows right away. You, you end up seeing map names like layered over the top of each other. So, Isn't it? 
Success! Death wish, you'll never be a noob again. <laughs> never ever. Alright, we got through that one a bit easier than the uh, the original, that's for sure. Alright, two to go. This one looks like it's been hammerized by somebody else. Yeah, I didn't get brain farted on that one, that's for sure. Big loading time on this one. I don't know about how many maps you've solved, but you can kind of work it out. If you go to the workshop, I'll come back to just a moment. If you go to your workshop, and if you go to played, change it to 30 per page. Yeah, I broke it. Good job. I don't think it likes uh, 30 per page. Oh, okay, we can do the math another way. So you've got um, 10 per page, 326, so that's 3,000. Yeah, that's about 3,260 maps that I've played. I don't know if that includes... Uh, surely I've played more than that, though. Maybe not, because these are like B-Master maps from way back when, when I first started. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, so you've replayed maps well. I've, I've got five on my last page, so that's... 3,255 maps that I've played so far, if that's accurate. Um, anywho. It just shows maps that you've played, Mika, doesn't it? You don't know if you've solved them or not. Uh, welcome back to yet another installment. This map has might have some different aesthetics than you're used to but rest assured the elements still behave exactly as you expect massive shout out to jp for the very pretty and interesting hammer work for the map be sure to give him his workshop a look it contains some very good and unique maps that are definitely worth playing surprisingly this was the first puzzle that was designed for the mod just two laser receivers and one cube how hard can it be turns out presently tricky still the general music that plays here is also the first track that was composed for the mod and could also be heard in this one three and a half of course uh, the next map will be the final entry of the series. Time flies, doesn't it? Sure does. It's almost midnight. Almost into Tuesday. Interesting. Some purpley looking goo. There are some very tricky maps out there, to be honest. There's just something else there, so we can now bring this over to here. It's like Minecraft terracotta. Think about that. 
very well, did I? I don't want to be positioned there more than anything. Then, then how do I get myself across to there, though? Should have gone across there when I had the chance, so let's just pop the cube and we'll start again. Then we're going to want to do what? Us to come back over to here. Pull on each side. So if I get the cube across here, that would help. Um. Camerson's multiplayer maps are too bad. Uh, I remember playing through quite a few of them with uh, Conclan on stream. Okay, so go across, go get the cube. This kind of looks like weird though, having like this extra bit here, it kind of almost looks like misaligned textures in a way. get across there. Yeah, I, st I uh, that's still st stupid, Deathwish. I still can't believe that they just like nuked your channel. It's just ridiculous. Do that instead, so it's over here. Bring the cube over here, but instead of pointing it there, we'll point it to here. Then do that. Then how do I get across to there? Because if I do that, I lose the surface there. Yeah, no. Well, I left. I'm sure I just talked myself out this this solution again. I was doing all this before, and then I kind of like totally drifted off and started doing something completely different. All right, so. Do is do that, that. There we go. Wait, 
way to talk yourself out of a solution. Okay, so we go back. I have to go back over there. And... That's awkward. wasn't done. I wasn't done. Because of positionings of cubes and stuff. Um, okay, let's get down here. Across to here. I didn't cheat at all. I just went to reposition portals. Then I do this. Yeah, no, the, the first part was to get the... The, um, the first part was to actually get the cube over here, and then you pretty much got to... It seems like you've got to pretty much resolve the puzzle once the cube is over here. Doing the same steps, but with obviously the cube in a different position, so... does it? Reverse minute. It has to be there. That's it. That's the one. It has to be there, not the other position. I also can't then get across, can I? like any um I noticed that the water wasn't uh you couldn't die under the water so I did just wonder if there was any like Easter eggs in the water but uh it's not looked like there is. It's all good. Yeah sorry it was a bit disjointed Mike. Um I say I, I, I didn't cheat it was just like it was had to keep repositioning portals rather than resolving the whole thing over and over and over again. Uh, all right, on to the very last one then. The last map. Number 12. Which is actually number 13. 
Can't believe this is the end already, but sadly, it really is. So, big thanks to everyone who's played some or all of the maps. I'm really happy to see that so many people have enjoyed this series. It really means a lot. The final puzzle is one I personally appreciate quite a bit. Uh, it is the only map in the series to feature two core testing elements being used together. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you're stuck, maybe try this one first. All right, let's bring it home, boys. Died. All right, determinate. No worries. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you next time. This problem is right. That's gonna. When I take that away, that's gonna bend, isn't it? cube if I won. It's not going to help me though at the minute. So we should maybe go and have a look over through here and see what we've actually got. Yeah, reverse funnel. So I would like to say I could... Yeah, how could I... Do you know what? That is truly one thing that I, I I miss about not playing Portal so often is just the the, the total memeage.
RPG, man. Blast from the past. know what else I can do. I can bounce a cube off my head. start but I can do this. So I'll pull myself through here. Okay. That gives me three rain through to here. I effectively need to pull myself through here. So did I right, I think I, I think I can see where I messed up. I should have gone through can't I? the orientation of the cube mass here. Oh, 
Alright, Gecko, what's going on? Hope you're well. This is actually the last map of the stream, anyway. Um, but yeah, welcome along. Hope you're well. Yes, this will be the last map maker. No. I'm not going to be playing Tower of No Scope. Pointed over there, and we was here through like this. Okay, so this is what we had. I don't know where to go from here, though. Alright, two possible moves I see. Let's do this one. That doesn't help me because now it traps me in here, doesn't it? So that doesn't help me. Well, if this is an option... Well, that just puts me back to exactly the same place I was before. So that doesn't really help. It's 
So hold on. Can I... Can I... Cube in the funnel. Can I... Can I put the cube in the funnel at the top? Don't tell me I can't do something, Deathwish. I was thinking was, can I now open this? If I could get into the middle area here while keeping a portal. Then we'd be just peachy, but we can't. thought process here was if I could put the, funnel, the cube in the funnel and then get to the middle um If I walk through here, I lose that. And then I'm just back to square one here, aren't I? This is everything we've already had. The problem is that I'm still struggling to see... I'm still struggling for the final move because I believe... I've got to reverse funnel my way over there first. 
switch it to the other portal surface to then get across to the other side, but how do I move the cube? Could of course push cube through there, cube portal there, but then if that gets fizzled it respawn the cube potentially and I still have no way to get into there so that wouldn't help. Yeah, you could say that again, Mike. It's definitely uh Even with like the dual fuzzle dual dual fuzzle? Dual funnel puzzle earlier. I had options and I had things I could try. This one I just got nothing. I can't imagine it would help, but... How'd that help? That wouldn't help.
I mean... Fix sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. maybe what I was missing. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. That's a pretty cool solution, Mike. Uh, ask me anything from Money Penny. Uh, Money Penny, he, I meant he almost had the trap. Yeah, I know. <sighs> totally overlooked aiming that over to there to fizzle the cube, which gives me a totally different setup in that middle area. Mike, a fantastic series of maps. Thank you very much. Um, sorry to hear, though, unfortunately, that the uh, the mod didn't work out in the end. But, um, yeah, no. Thoroughly uh, enjoyed those maps. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much indeed. That's going to bring us to the end of the stream tonight. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to throw a wee little raid to my good friend Mr. Subsonics who is currently playing the classic game of Resident Evil 2 from 1998 
Uh, so if you stick around and raid, you'll actually get some a few extra channel points uh, along the way. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Let's uh, hit him up a raid. Thanks everybody. I'll be back tomorrow night. Not sure what I will be doing, but we will be back tomorrow. Until then though, stay awesome guys. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye.